Prince Andrew survived eviction from the Royal Lodge thanks to ex-wife Sarah Ferguson's shaky health. Blessing in disguise? Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson won't have to worry about leaving their royal home amid the author's breast cancer battle. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any update about the British royal family. The Duke and Duchess of York are the epitome of cordiality. Although their union ended in 1992, the couple remained on friendly terms, living and raising their two daughters under the same roof. Although their young birds have flown off the nest to start their own families, the former couple is still together on their long-term residence. News of King Charles' plans to evict the couple made waves for months, with his younger brother fiercely resisting the move. However, thanks to his ex-wife's health, members of the royal family reportedly won't be evicted from the 30-room building. Please keep scrolling to find out more. The new king's brother appears to have achieved his goal of staying at the royal lodge despite concerns about the 63-year-old's financial ability to run the lavish home. Sources told Page Six, however, that the duke will not be evicted from his home while his former lover recovers. The 30-room property near Windsor Castle, outside London, has been the ex's residence since 2003 when Prince Andrew signed a 74-year lease. Although he still had time in the contract, King Charles attempted to move the couple to Frogmore Cottage in a cost-cutting scheme. Prince Andrew has lost his official duties over his affair with the late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. After paying a multi-million dollar settlement to Virginia Dufry, a victim who accused him of sexual offenses, the Duke is allegedly unable to pay the joint rent and upkeep of the Royal Lodge. However, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's former home will not receive its new residence due to Ferguson's battle with cancer. According to a friend of the author of A Gift of Kindness, the mother of two needed time to recover after undergoing a nearly eight-hour mastectomy. The insider didn't share what additional treatments the Duchess will receive, but noted that her loved ones, including her ex-husband, have rallied to support her recovery. The source told the outlet, News of the fight against breast cancer came to the host of tea talks with the Duchess and Sarah late last month through a representative who is the sponsor of the Teenage Cancer Trust. The spokesperson revealed that humanity was diagnosed with an early form of malignant disease during its usual examination. The source announced, Sarah, Duchess of York, was recently diagnosed with an early-onset form of breast cancer that was detected on a routine mammogram. She was advised that she needed to undergo surgery, which was successful. The insider assured the fans that the Heart for Compass author didn't have to worry because she was on the road to recovery. According to Ferguson's spokesperson, the doctors claimed the 63-year-old had a good prognosis and were providing her with the best medical care. In addition, the whistleblower noted that the former senior royal wanted to inspire others to get regular checkups as her illness went almost undetected. Do you think Prince Andrew should be kicked of his after losing his royal title?